Hello, everybody. I'm Salota Saiba, second year student at this university. What's more, I'm a big book lover. When I was reading one of my favorite book, Atomic Habits, only five words totally changed my life and my mindset. Being in motion and taking action. That's why I decided to choose these five words as my today's topic. Okay, here's my question for you. Have you ever watched motivational videos or maybe read different kind of psychological self-help books to inspire yourself? Yes. I think your answer is yes, me too. I did it a lot. So, but it don't work actually. Uh, when I was a schoolgirl, motivation was actually everything for me. I searched for motivation to study. I searched for motivation to accomplish my goals. I searched for motivation to feel happy and etc. And I thought, if I become too motivated, I will get into good results. But understanding the theory of being in motion and taking action, I realized how I was totally wrong. What I'm saying, why I was totally wrong? Because right now I know the answer. So let's define being in motion and taking action. They are not the same things, they are two different things. Being in motion, it means planning, strategizing, searching for information, participating in different kinds of seminars, conferences, and also reading, thinking about your goals, thinking about your intentions, and etc. If you are doing all these things, it means that you are in motion right now. But what does it mean be taking action? Taking action is here another thing. Taking action it means executing, using, experiencing, and also writing, just doing. Experiencing that situation on your own. You have to feel that process. You have to undergo under this process. Then this means that you are taking action. But you cannot ignore none of them. I've mentioned my school years. Uh, when I was at school, I read so many thousands of psychological books to improve myself. I participated in so many conferences and different kinds of seminars to increase my skills, my knowledge, acquire something new. But always I gave one question to myself again and again repeatedly. Why I'm not getting to get results, or maybe why I'm not achieving to my goals as fast as I want. Right now, I know the answer. Because I was only in motion, but I didn't take any kind of action. That's why I did the biggest mistake in my life at the time. Never mistake motion for action. So many people don't know the theory of being in motion and taking action. They are in motion, always in motion, and they think about good results, about changing the life, or maybe about just ripping out the mountains. And in this process, they are also making mistakes. Why? Because it feels like you are making a progress, but actually no, you are not making a progress. Here, you are just running around the circle, running around the circle, but success, the way of success is not like circle. It's the straight way, and you have to go this by the straight way, not just circling around. Why they think that, why it feels like you are doing progress? Because you read, you think, you strategize, you analyze everything, but you are not doing action, taking action. That's why it is like 
circling around like SpongeBob friends. Keep both of them in balance. Motion and action, they are inseparable. If you want to separate these two things, what will happen? Only motion becomes a form of procrastination. But only action, it just wastes your time. Why it is? Only in motion, if you are only in motion, as I mentioned earlier, it becomes like a procrastination. You read a lot, you analyze, you search for information, but you do not achieve your desirable score or maybe accomplishment. But only taking action, it's also not good, actually. Because without planning, without analyzing everything, you cannot anyway achieve something. So, here's my suggestion for you. I'm not going to say that be only in motion, or I'm not going to say that take only action. Keep compromise, keep balancing these two important things. Motion and action. <laughs> Once you have read something new, you have to write down what did you understand. Once you have to participate on something, some different kind of conferences, you have to experience that situation. You have to use it in your own life. You have to feel it. Only by this way, you will get to good outcomes. In summary, I want to say that we are the ultimate architecture of our lives. Our each action, our each daily habits define our future. Be enthusiastic, don't settle, be in motion, and don't forget to take action. Thank you very much.